Hello everyone. Do you ever feel you are making errors while doing stock trade analysis and design? I mean, think of working for so many hours on a project only for you to find out that there is a very critical mistake that puts everything on the wrong path. That's a nightmare for any engineer, but it's actually more common than we would like to admit. All right. Let's consider why structural design is so important before we get into the details. Whether you are just starting out as a fresh engineer or you are a professional designer or somewhere in between, structural design is the backbone of our projects. It's what makes sure that our buildings, bridges and other structures are safe, functional and durable. So in this video, we are going to look at five common mistakes that can happen during the structural design process. Number one, inadequate load analysis. All right, let's start with the first common but a big mistake, inadequate load analysis. This is super important because it's all about figuring out the various loads a structure will face during its lifetime. These are mainly dead loads, live loads, wind loads and seismic loads. If you do not get this right, your design could either be unsafe or inefficient. Let's make this clear with an example. Suppose we have a building on the topmost floor. There is a conference room. If we underestimate the live load, let's say instead of five kilonewton per meter square, the designer takes only three kilonewton per meter square load. And during some critical event, there is a gathering of a large number of people. The floor might not be able to support all the weight during that time. This would result either in huge sagging or worse in a structural failure. On the other hand, if we overestimate the load, then we might end up with an overdesigning the structural members that is uneconomical and unnecessarily expensive. It's all about finding the right balance for safety and cost effectiveness. Now let's move on to the second common mistake in structural design inadequate detailing and reinforcement. First, let's clarify what we mean by detailing. The structural engineer designs the structural components like beam, column, slab, etc. Now the design information is produced in the form of working drawings so that it can be implemented at the site. This process is known as detailing. So. Detailing in structural design refers to the process of providing precise and comprehensive instructions for how structural elements should be assembled, connected and reinforced. This includes specifying the type, size and placement of reinforcement bars, stirrups and other reinforcement materials. Proper detailing ensures that different structural members work together to take loads and resist stresses. Why is detailing so important? Accurate detailing ensures that all elements of the structure are properly integrated and capable of performing their intended functions. It translates the design calculations and theoretical models into practical instructions that can be followed during construction. Imagine you are designing a concrete slab for a multi-story building and you don't specify the correct spacing and anchorage length for the reinforcement bars. What happens? The reinforcement might not provide adequate support, leading to weaknesses in critical areas. This can cause excessive cracking or even failure under load. So proper detailing is really important. Now let's move on to the third common mistake in structural design, inadequate site investigation. This is one of the most overlooked aspect of the structural design. Site investigation involves assessing the soil, rock and groundwater conditions at the construction site. This information is vital for determining the appropriate foundation design and ensuring the overall stability of the structure. Inadequate site investigation can lead to a improper design of the foundation and thus compromising the entire project. Imagine you skip a detailed site investigation during the foundation design and later during construction, you discover that the soil is much weaker than expected or there are unforeseen 
ground water issues. This can lead to big problems like foundation failures and unexpected ground conditions that cause delays and extra costs. Now, let's move on to the fourth common mistake in structural design, ignoring building codes and standards. Building codes and standards are the documents that provide minimum requirements for the design, construction and maintenance of buildings and structures. For example, IS 456-2000 is the code for plain and reinforced concrete. This code provides the necessary specifications for concrete mix design, reinforcement detailing and construction practices. Ignoring these building codes and standards can result in non-compliant structures that are unsafe, potentially leading to disastrous consequences. Imagine you are designing a commercial building and you overlook the minimum reinforcement requirements specified in IS 456-2000. For instance, IS 456-2000 states that the minimum percentage of steel reinforcement for columns should be 0.8% of the cross-sectional area. If you ignore this and use less reinforcement, it can lead to several problems. First, the column may not have enough strength to support the loads, leading to potential structural failure. This can cause excessive cracking and even collapse under heavy loads. Second, insufficient reinforcement can result in excessive deflections, which might affect the alignment of the entire structure. Finally, ignoring these standards can lead to costly repairs and retrofits as well as legal issues and loss of credibility. Sticking to these standards is not just a legal obligation, but also a professional responsibility to ensure safety. Now, let's move on to the fifth common mistake in structural design, inadequate structural analysis. Structural analysis is the process of determining the effects of loads on physical structures and their components. This analysis ensures that the design can withstand all applied loads without failure or excessive deformation. Inadequate structural analysis means not thoroughly evaluating how the structural loads will respond to various forces, which can lead to serious issues down the line. Proper structural analysis involves using mathematical models, simulations, and software tools to predict the behavior of structures under different conditions. This step is essential for ensuring the safety, stability, and performance of the structure throughout its life cycle. Let's consider an example related to torsion in buildings. Torsion occurs when there is an asymmetrical distribution of mass and stiffness, causing parts of the building to twist during events like earthquakes. Suppose you are designing a multi-story building and during the structural analysis phase, you fail to account for potential torsional effects. This could lead to structural failure, excessive deformations and safety risks. Alright guys, we have covered a lot of things today discussing some of the common mistakes in the structural design. Remember, as civil engineers, we have a huge responsibility to ensure our designs are safe, functional and reliable. It's essential to double check our work, seek peer reviews and always stay updated with the latest codes and standards. Continuous learning is the key to maintaining the integrity of our designs. Thank you for watching and take care.